Good evening. So um, this afternoon there was a uh, meeting of the WordPress uh, core media development group um, and I asked about the uh, ticket and patch that I submitted three weeks ago um, and whether we could um, get it tested and potentially into WordPress. Um, and as a reminder, that is this ticket. Um, so the ticket is about um, when you generate um, images, uh, so I generate thumbnails um, for a new media library item, and you're using the image editor output format filter uh, to generate different types of thumbnails. So you might be add in a JPEG and you want WebP files to come out. Um, if you um, if you do things a little bit funky or if you have um, the same file name used more than once, uh, you can get into a situation where um, the thumbnails being generated are overwriting the thumbnails for a previous media library item. Um, so I, in my last video for WordPress, which was, I think, always developing number 49, um, I showed the bug and then developed a patch for it. Um, and today I asked about it in that meeting and, um, they took a look at it um, and were hoping to get it into WordPress 5.8.1 um, because it this patch will overcome the problem introduced in 5.8. Um, but there's some work for me to do um, and some testing to be done on top of it. So uh, at the outcome of the meeting, um, basically I need to set the little helper function as being private just by setting a tag on it. So it is a global function, but uh, and we can't get really get away from that at the moment because of where it's working. Um, uh, it's a helper function for another global function. Um, but I can set a private uh, dot block tag on it um, so that people know not to use it themselves. Um, and then also I need to put some unit tests in. Um, and Sergey there um, noticed that I did a little typo. I called um, the, extra, the new extra function WP default extension for mime type instead of mime type. How I missed that, I don't know. Um, so uh, I have a few tasks to do and then I will have to refresh the patch. Um, and resubmit it. So that's my task for tonight. Um, I'll do some of that if I can. Uh, I'm not going to spend too long on this. Uh, got other stuff to do tonight. So uh, let's have a go. Um, I have still got my trunk um, website up and running there, um, but it is running um, an old version, um, which I need to refresh. And I also need to remove the patch that's already there and stuff like that. So I'm gonna need to get it back to scratch, make sure unit tests are running okay. Um, and then apply my patch, make sure unit tests running okay. Um, and then make my changes start doing tests and things so that's the task so i think i've still got it in there yep okay so yep all right so i need to revert what i've got because i've got patch file in there like three six six eight so i'll just do um SVN revert. I changed source 
Fail includes class type A widgets. Functions. Okay. Ready? Okay, let's get rid of my patch. See what happens. Why is it called that change list stuff? I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm not sure why we got that change list thing there. Oh, I know why, because that's from PHP Storm. <laughs> right, I need to refresh this. There we go. Get rid of all the changes. Don't know why that's there. I think I'll just take that off for the moment. Okay. So I'll be changing that. And I'll be changing... stuff in here in a minute. It's definitely moved around. Interesting. Okay. Right, so HP unit. Can I you know I haven't got a good thing here actually. I don't think I have PHP unit globally. I always use Local build. That's going to be interesting. I specifically don't do a global PHP unit. Hmm. I'll come back to that. Let's just do npm install to make sure everything's up to date. And npm build. I wonder if that's going to be a problem. That trunk is now moving on to 5.9 and I'm wanting to build off of 5.8.1. Uh, so what have we got in tags? How do you see tags? It's a long time since I've used SVM properly.
There's the branches, where's the branches? Let's see, yeah, help. Hmm. That's not going to help. See, yeah. Uh... Do I even need to do that? Let me try and um, see if the problem persists. I think I've still got my plug-in. Hmm. What's that going to do? That's fine. Plugins, yeah, I've got that still. Plugin heads, uh, tricks. Yeah, so if I add a PNG, it's going to come out as a JPEG. Okay, All right, I remember now. Okay, right, so I believe, was it JPEG first? Yeah, if I upload the JPEG, and then PNG, yeah, we have the problem, because it doesn't understand the difference there. So yeah, we get messed up thumbnails and that's right. Amazing how three weeks you can just forget everything. Right. Yeah, so that's the problem there. The initial JPEG, its thumbnails have now been overridden by the new picture, which was a PNG. Uh, only the scaled and the original haven't been touched. 
fine. Okay. I am open now. Okay. Grant patch. Five, three, six, six, eight, if I remember correctly. Five, three, six, six, eight. Yep. Just check so it's applied. Yep, so it's taken out of that function, put in there, so it's mine. That's the helper function. Help function goes in. And the new mime type thing. Come. Cool. Alright. <laughs> So if I look at here, I should start to see what I need. So we have new helper function there, which is called from the unique file name. Yeah, and that's the right place. Has to happen at the end. Okay. That's all the things. And then here we have the new function, which was taken out of Yeah, just taken out of there. Okay. Right, first thing, fix that name. Make sure that's done up here. Mime type. And mime type. Okay. Second thing. Where do I put the private check? Well, where we've got that before. Right. So it's always early, is it? 
it's high up and after this since okay straight after since in most respects and then sometimes at the end Okay, not consistent. Oh, I'll do that's in JavaScript now. Don't want, don't care about JavaScript. We're in PHP. All right. Oh, it's above since there. Okay. patterns and it's below there okay so there's no consistent requirement there although it seems to be that's two two three block patterns is late so that's under any other javascript uh, php no Okay, well, I think it looks better under. I think it's more, e it's easier to read, I think. Yeah, it's also closer. Well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we'll stick it here. Okay, and NPM run. It does not take a while. Okay. And give this a refresh, make sure nothing goes bang. Add picture. Oops. Ah, oh, didn't work. Add picture. There we go. Oh, that really didn't work. What? That must have been something else oh, because I've, it's because I did it back. That's fine. Okay. So if we're in here, everything looks good as it should. Okay. Now we add. Okay. Picture one. Good. Let's recognize the difference. And we've got all these new ones here. Dunk. No clash. Uh, so, and if I add this one again, I expect it to be two. And if I add it again, it should be three. And then if I add this one, should be four. 
good stuff. So we should have car thing, car car, yeah. And here we have picture JPEG. Picture one, two, three, and four with the original out there, and that's fine. Okay, looking good. All right, so I've done the two minor things there, the private tag and the typo in the name of the new function. Um, uh, nope. Thank you. What's next? Uh, tests. How am I going to do that without PHP unit? I'm going to have to install PHP unit, aren't I? I guess. That's a pain in the butt. That could clash with things. Mm. How can I get away with not doing that? There's no composer in here, so I can't do it. Oh, there is. Hold on. <laughs> oh, how did I miss that? Right. Is it a PHP unit? Hmm, well, there's... There is, so it's fine. Okay. Where is it install? Good stuff. Take it, it's not going to do a PHP unit now, is it? So I might have to do. Um, Can I get away with just doing vendor HP unit? What's going to happen then? Hmm. Need to set it up. Hmm, what have I got?
dip WordPress test, but I use that for local dev, so I'm not muck about that one. I'll just call it WordPress. What well, about trunk test, I suppose? Hey, is trunk test already there? What? Where did that come from? Oh. I must have <laughs> in a previous life. I must have been ahead of myself there. Right. DB user root DB password. This is really secret. I really probably shouldn't show you this. Oh no. Okay, host. It's in Docker. Gotta do that. DB UTF is fine. Okay. Don't care about the salty stuff. Don't care about that. There we go. Might take a little while. Be interesting to see if it passes though, without I made any should have run this before doing my patch actually. Hey ho. Right, while that's running, I will have a quick look, see what tests we've got. Hold on, I could be doing this in there. Uh, Watch that. Close that. Okay, now, so my actual changes my new new stuff is in the functions.php um so i presume this is where i'll find stuff i wonder if um unique is in here there we go Okay, so we have some images there, apparently. Okay. Well, it's not the first thing I want to test anyway. I want to test the uh, the mime type thing first, but 
it's good to know we've got some test images. All right. So we put a failure message there. Okay, that's different to what I normally do. Okay. All right then. What's the scheme here? Do we just add stuff to the end? Three nine six six. Okay, I guess not. Then again, tickets come in all different times. Okay. Fix at different times. Okay. So the tests go in. That was a failure. Again, none of these. Anything to do with where I am, and they're all databasey things, so I think we're good. We'll risk it. Okay, right, code changes. So I want to test this first. Basically, I need to pass in a mime type. get back the first from here. So let's do some obvious ones first. That should be JPG and not JPEG. Right, so this is a new function, so I can stick this at the end. What's the schema for this? Okay. Nothing. Don't need to do any docky doc blocks.
only if you're doing data driven. And I'm not for this because I only want to do a couple of tests to make sure it just does the right thing. Do not need to do them all because that's gonna that's not needed. Yeah, okay. Right. Did I call it? What's the best, what's the fastest assert? Probably assert same. Can I do equal? Yeah. Right. Happy path, JPG. From image JPEG. Um, Can I run just that test then? That's the path test functions. Case. Oh, interesting. I don't ever, ever use PHP unit on its own. Hmm. 
So I just have to do the actual file. I can't. Well, that's actually what I want to do. We'll see if that works. Where is the path? <sighs> Functions, PHP. Yeah, I'll do. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah, good. Cool. All right, I did the job. So now I need to put in the actual function. Which will make it magically work. Good luck. Good stuff. All right, let's go. All right, so now this should fail. JPEG. So we expect a failure now. Yeah, we've got back JPEG without an E. So we should be able to say assert not equals. Good stuff. All right, some more stuff. So what else do we want to test? We're passing in. As, well, what happens if we get no in then? What do we expect? Should really I guess we are expecting false. So let's test that then. Hmm. I guess to do this. Oh, I should put some strings in it. Eh? Uh, so here we have. Uh, what's the format of the messages again? It's the failure, isn't it? Hmm. 
Okay. Why it failed. Okay. Uh, JPG. Not to return is. extension for JPEG JPEG should not be returned. Mr. Fox Station here. Do we need to put that in there? not returned no mime type supplied Okay, can I make that? F I better make that fail just so I can see the message. Yeah. False not returned with no mime type supplied. Okay. Fail to certain that false is true. And I'll do. Okay, what else do we need to test? Empty, that's not going to be the thingy. Empty, do, 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 false, return first. So, what we're really testing, um, let's pick. Right, well, PNG only has the one item, so it should it should be a natural fit. I'll try that. We haven't tried that yet. Set Gotta test the uh 
scuff case. So if we pass in image wibble. Actually, no, let's even do wibble. Wobble. Was not turned or um we got my are we doing American? We're gonna do American recognized Make sure that fails. Okay. So what other alternatives could we have here? Um, there's nothing really weird to do there. It's all very straightforward. Can't really do much more. I'll tell you what we can do. Actually, thinking about it, we can do variations of this. So we can do that. We can do print. Twenty string. Okay, we've covered a few bases there. Yes, I know that's the default, that's fine. So it should pass. Good stuff. Okay. All right, I think we've done enough on that do I need to give it any kind of dock block I guess I could put the ticket on would that make sense Five three six six eight. If I'm not mistaken, five three six six eight. Oops. Okay. 
visual layout. Why does the task do that? What on earth? Go away. Right. So I think we've done enough testing there. So now comes the fun one. We're going to test this helper function. The reason why I'm worried about it is because I'm using a static. Um, and that really mucks up unit tests. Because you hit it once and you're done. Although, in theory, actually, no, in theory, that static is okay. Because it's a guard on single, it's basically a single entry guard. It's not like a class static. So it might be okay. It's just a recursion guard. Okay. All right, so we've got a file name extension dire, and we are returning a new file name. Okay, we can probably How are we gonna do this? What what data have we got? Have we got any that are duplicate? Oh, we do. Test image. And we've got PNG and JPEG. Okay, one blue pixel, but it doesn't have an original. Hmm. 
Okay, so I basically need why is that complaining? Oh, did I accidentally uh... Yeah, I know. How far back was that? Hmm. Oops, so I did a eek. The pain. Take all this off. I don't know how long ago I did that. I wonder if I can just can I No. I was hoping I could just roll back my uh, accidental changes there. There's got to be a way of doing that. Yeah, I'll just quickly do this. I don't want all these uh, little changes to be in the patch. I might be dinged for that. And I don't know how to pick them. Well, I suppose I could do it on. No, I can't. I'm not actually committing. Well. Not far. It's not a big file. I just have to be a little bit more careful about my uh, roof auto formatting. 
Must have accidentally just done it as I normally would. Okay, so that's that. And then I've got one I missed up there. Right. Just try that again, make sure that I'm not It does, does work, it's just this. Gotta be careful. Right, so I can probably do something like this. Now, I don't know what the deal is with that. Do I keep the double there? I guess we'll find out. It seems like it makes sense at the moment. What's the time? Hmm. One and a bit long. Okay. Uh, we'll get on with this quickly so yeah we want to we need to do that set in yeah we need to redirect where the upload direction is so it's there so we need to keep that in Then I need to test. Pre and post add in the filter. And how this fixes it. In theory, let us check that. Okay. 
All right, so let's think about this. So what I need to do... Okay, that's fine. Life still goes on while you're video recording. All right, so what am I going to do? I am going to test that. Dif difference in extension does not affect unique file name. So what we'll do we haven't got any what have we got there? We've got Something unique. Okay, let's try. Okay, no, whatever that is. Oh, code is poetry, that'd be a bit, wouldn't it? That's a PNG. That's perfect, yeah. I want to do output as JPEG. So the code is poetry. At first, I can do the other way around. JPEG. Yeah, no, I've got to do Canada first, actually. Yeah. I'll do that because I want to do. If I'm outputting JPEGs, which is what I'm going to do the test on, we've already got one but I'm passing in a PNG and yeah that's fine okay just uh, so it does not get affected even though there is a JPEG there fine We'll do a double check here that will do one the JPEG. That's the base one. Okay, I guess technically we don't need to do that, do we? We're using up here actually. Using PNGs, okay, that's fine. Right, okay, yeah, 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 okay. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G doesn't exist. That's probably a better test. And we'll do one again to prove no memory. See how that goes. I'm not sure about that. And actual. Nice. Okay. In theory, that should all be happy path stuff. Think. But yeah, okay, now. Go grab some code from my little test. C 
So any PNG is now going to return JPEG thumbnails and we run the tests again. Right, so I'm expecting these to fail now because, well, that one should fail because I should get canola one. And that should be canola one again. And that should be unaffected and should be the same so I'm expecting a failure here um, yeah in theory if I've implemented it correctly Yay, okay. I should put some uh, failure text on these things then. should not name changed In file name with chain base file name but not extension should not have name changed. And then here, existing file should be changed. Okay, just want to take them again now. <laughs> now I'll put the strings in. Just take that. Okay, and we'll be changing that in a sec. But first of all, 
let's reformat. Make sure we get an error back with text. Clash in base file name, but not extension should not have name changed. Good. Okay. That's not what we're going to be using, but at least we're getting good stuff back. So here we go. Non-existent file should not have name changed. Full stop. Nothing else there. It's good. Difference in extension does not affect domain right. So difference in extension does affect WM when thumbnails use existing files type so we're expecting one there Clashing base, right. Should have name changed. When thumbnails use Existing files type. Okay. Actual clash recognized. This should be. Let's leave that because that should fail and I should need to put a two in. All the rest should pass. Why did they all pass? Oh, because it's the same. Yeah, it's the same thing. It does exist. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. It's just the same test as before. It's just it's different extensions, so it's fine. That's good. Yeah, okay. Right, I better put um better make that a proper function. Uh, what's the name of thing? Blackbird base style. Nope. Um, I 
image editor out put format handler It's not doing this anymore, I should really do. I think that's a good start. It shows the problem. Okay. Does it still work? Yep. Okay. Um
make sure this actually I could just do it straight to Farley. So we've got mime type sorted now. Still got the same stuff there. Tag that's private. Same working code as before using mime type instead of mine type. Turns from right Okay. Tests. Tests. Done. Okay. So I've got my little patch file, uh, which I need to submit. Um, now I just want to test that the tests fail. So SVN revert source WP includes class WP widget uh, PHP. And functions PHP. Run the tests again, and I should see a couple of the failures. Hmm. Yeah, what we expected that. Good. Clash in base file name, but not extension. Should have name changed when thumbnails use existing files type. That's right. Yeah, so that's, that's the one. That's the thing uh, that we are trying to protect against. We don't want that failure. So that's good. Cool. Right. Um, let's submit a patch for that then. Let's make sure no one's done any pingy pings. Okay. Can I just add an attachment? Yes. Add another file. Browse. Oops. Where we go in sites. Trunk patch.
There we go. So in theory, there you go. Can I just take off the unit tests? I guess. I think I might leave it as is for the moment. Um, and then have a chat with some people tomorrow to make sure that everything looks okay before we do anything with these in particular John because I think he's going to give it a test okay cool All right uh, I think that's enough for today uh, this evening um, yeah I've hopefully now got that patched up so it's uh, going to be hopefully accepted but we'll see um got to be tested properly yeah but anyway so uh until next time take care